Hi, I'm Vince. I'm Sanam. I'm Sam. I'm Jatin. And I'm Terry. I am a member of the board of directors of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream Company. It is an example of a company that is practicing common good capitalism. When Ben & Jerry's was bought by Unilever, the fourth largest consumer products company on earth, we arranged for a contract that has allowed us to continue to give priority to the common good and second priority to profit. Yet we are one of the most profitable ice cream brands on earth. Whether or not people support our social activist positions, people respect our willingness to have the courage to be a participant in the maturation of us all. Last November, I spoke to Chitton's class at the Eisenberg School of Business at the University of Massachusetts. I described common good capitalism, why I believed it is the natural next stage in our economic maturation. Afterwards, Chitton and these students decided to join me in the creation of this website. It is where any for-profit or non-profit organization in the world can publicly declare that their highest priority is the common good and second priority is profit or mission. Our hope is that this is the beginning of a movement that will increase the discussion among us all as to whether or not voluntary common good capitalism is indeed the natural next stage in our economic maturation. The purpose of a movement is to change something in the way we all think. This changes individual behavior. That changes organizational behavior, and it eventually changes the laws of a land. Thus the goal of this movement, building on individual freedom and free markets, is to have us all understand that we can, in the private sector, mature capitalism into common good capitalism. We believe there are three reasons common good capitalism is the next natural stage in our economic maturation. First, whenever two people come together, they have two choices, to compete or cooperate. If they choose to compete, they are in a constant state of conflict. If they choose to cooperate, they have reached an agreement to give priority to the two of them as if two parts of a whole. When many people agree to do this, we call it a society. When individuals go one step further and freely decide to give priority to the common good of us all, throughout most of history, this has been called moral behavior. Secondly, moral behavior cannot be legislated. It is not possible to pass and police a law that obligates each person, each moment, to give priority to his or her best unique action for the common good. This can only be the free choice of individuals and freely chosen organizations of individuals. Thirdly, there are basically two ways this can be done, unilaterally or in cooperation with competitors. Ben & Jerry's is an example of one of many companies doing it unilaterally. They provide evidence that common good capitalism is not just only good for the heart and all the people involved, it is also good for business. Competitors could also meet and reach agreements for the common good. For instance, Ben & Jerry's and haagen control 82% of the super premium ice cream market in the USA. If we reached agreement to have our minimum wage be the livable wage where each of our factories is located, relative to one another, it would not cost us a penny. Yet we would be taking a voluntary cooperative step for the common good. Companies such as CVS and Walgreens, Lowe's and Home Depot, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, MasterCard and Visa, who are similarly dominant in their product areas, could do the same. The smaller competitors could join them or be easily called out if they fail to join in such an agreement for the common good. This is not illegal collusion for self-interest. This is cooperation for the common good. This website will reveal to you how, in the private sector, we can self-finance the maturation of our global economy into common good capitalism. If your organization is committed to giving priority to the common good, however you define it, please use this website to publicly declare it. This will begin the conversation that will have us all decide, together, what for our time is giving priority to the common good. Please join us in maturing capitalism into common good capitalism.